Now let's take a look at not only Donovan Peoples-Jones' big game-winning touchdown, but also the Chief getting back into the end zone in this week's Play Breakdown presented by Microsoft Surface. Ooh, I love when we get going in the film room here, Joe. Let's get it started with the game winner, Donovan Peoples-Jones. And as you look here, the Bengals, they're showing cover one as this game underfolds here. So they're initially they're like, maybe it's cover two. And then they're going to cheat. There's the cheat right there. Now they have dropped it back, and we've got single high safety. This is that same cover one robber coverage where you have the robber here where Minka got it. Baker sees the far hash, and I think he knows I got DPJ going, Joe. Yeah, take a look at the leverage that the corner on the bottom of the screen has on Donovan Peoples-Jones. He's head up to a little bit inside, and Baker uses that information to know that that safety that's dropping down is going to be playing robber on the tight end and that there's only one hole on this coverage, and that's right there in the corner of the end zone for Donovan Peoples-Jones. And then Donovan Peoples-Jones does a great job holding space, running down the sideline. We always talk about five yards from the sideline is where you want your receiver to be able to hold space to give the quarterback an opportunity to drop the football in. And Baker Mayfield makes an absolutely perfect throw down the sideline where only Donovan Peoples-Jones can catch the football. All right, let's stay in the film room now and look at another Browns touchdown against the Bengals, this time Baker Mayfield to David Njoku. And when you're a quarterback, the first thing you're looking at is the middle of the field open or closed. And the Bengals pre-snap, they're showing you the middle of the field is closed. But after the snap, as soon as things go, this safety is going to vacate, leaving the middle of the field wide open, and the Chiefs going to run this post, and it's going to be a dime for Baker Mayfield for the touchdown. Tell us how it all unfolds, Joe. Well, I think the most important part of this play is the job that Baker does with his eyes. If you watch the stripe on his helmet, you can see that he's controlling and moving the safety with his eyes to be able to create space in the middle of that field for David and Joku to be hit with that post route right down the middle. We've got Von Bell, who's the safety here for the Bengals, number 24. He's got outside leverage on David and Joku. And that deep safety, number 30, is the one that's responsible for any in-breaking routes from Njoku. But Baker Mayfield understands that as well. So what he does is he stares right at him, and then he looks to the right, which forces number 30, the safety, to drift to that side of the field to cover those receivers that are being looked at, which opens up everything for the Chief. And then what the Chief does is give a little bit of a head nod, like he's going to the corner. That creates a little bit of natural space, and then he turns it back to the post, which gives Baker Mayfield plenty of space, plenty of field in the middle, to deliver the football for the big touchdown. And everybody's favorite part is after the touchdown when the Chief scores, it's the Chief slam! I love that. Not so fast, Joe. Get the ball back. Boom! Chief slam, big Browns touchdown. <laughs> 